<laughs> oh, I really, really wanted to eat that. That was the good bread. Most of the good bread. I think I have a little more. Oh, the <laughs> So sad. Because that was the, the really good bread. The very last of the good bread. We're going to fight over who gets the second piece. <laughs> We're not going to fight. I know. Our kids are staying with my family. Last night they slept at my family's house and so we're having an overnight date. This time I'm putting a timer on because I'm notorious for burning anything that I put on broil. Notorious. Why didn't I put a timer on? <laughs> this is a store-bought egg and this I think is probably Bonnie the outlaw hen's egg. I love eating eggs that come from right out there. I can literally stand here and crack the eggs and look up and there's the chicken that laid the egg. Chicken. Egg. Milk from our cow. Since January we have been doing something that has really changed our relationship. We've been dating. Rather than try to just not do negative things in our relationship, that we should actually do something really positive. So we've been going on about a once a week date. Sometimes more, I think we missed a week and it's been amazing. I got my overalls on. This is what I used to wear when we were dating. So I thought I'd throw them on again. <laughs> Years ago, I used to wear overalls all the time. Every day. We went on a date with Justin and Rebecca Rhodes yesterday. And it was really fun. We went out to this great restaurant in Asheville. They have a lot of gluten-free options and just had a really good time. We actually ran into a viewer in uh, downtown Asheville and she said, I love you all's videos. And we were like, uh, who? Uh, us or them? <laughs> and she was like, both of you. So that was fun to get to meet her. Something just happened that I thought would never happen. The other chicken came home. And there they are hanging out. Roadrunner Forest Usain Bolt is on the inside and the other one is on the outside hanging out with Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie's attacking the other one. That's not very nice, Bonnie. Dropped an egg. I'm so sad. We didn't even think to bring an egg basket though because there's been so few eggs. We're back in business. That's crazy. I literally checked two days ago and there were none. So I didn't check yesterday. There's nine this morning. Nine eggs? Yep, yeah, and copper moran eggs. Yes, nice, beautiful. Yes, yes. Those are, for those of you who don't know, the copper moran is a chicken that has feathers on its feet and it lays dark brown, beautiful eggs. But these aren't that dark. For them but they're so beautiful so excited <laughs> and to think we ate store-bought eggs for breakfast that's so, so funny. funny i don't know if you can see it but dolly is shedding her winter coat she's lightening in color back to the color she used to be in the summer which is much much lighter and the hair is just coming off here as i brush i don't know if you can see it there i'm gonna go feed the pigs now what you're feeding the pigs uh, just like grain and then our leftover pig bucket food. Burnt toast. Burnt toast. <laughs> Hi, Duke. <laughs> real long this is our back pasture we're just bringing everyone back here to get them off our good pasture so that it can grow in nice and green and not get destroyed because that's going to be our main pasture for this summer there's not 
a lot out here, but there's more. If they hunt around, there's more than there is over there. They also have hay to eat. We're not just leaving them to forage. <laughs> Why is he so excited out here? It's so funny. Funny. Looks like he finally ran himself calm. <laughs> I think like for me, the fact that we, I mean he has an outside job, but then when he's at home, not only do we have a farm to run, we have children to raise, and we have a YouTube channel to run. So it's like all of our work is at our home, which isn't a bad thing. There's a lot of blessings to that, but I feel like the stress of that you don't even realize how stressful that is until you well until what we did was he started planning dates which was like a huge surprise to me and a huge blessing to me um and we'd get we'd get out of here together and we'd go have some fun and it was like oh yeah there was like this whole other side to you that i totally forgot that i like really loved and i really need that side in my life to not like get so short and get so frustrated and to not be so stressed out about all of the focused work that we do because we have a lot of focused work that we do every single day at a, like in our home and on our property. Yeah, we do. Um, of course this day has been more at our house but our kids aren't here so it's been a lot more slower paced. And I just say like most of our dates aren't like this. Most of our dates we spend five or ten bucks and go get some coffee for two hours. But even that little bit of just remembering like how much fun this guy is has been honestly life-changing for our marriage. Like outside of our work relationship and our parenting relationship and our farming relationship. It's like, oh yeah, there's this whole other really fun relationship. You and me. <laughs> me and you. <laughs> and it's a really it's it's really fun and it just makes all the other relationships so much better. So I would say it has become kind of our top priority. Yeah, one yeah. of our very highest priorities. Mm -hmm. so. Completely. <laughs> and it's not like we can't do other stuff because we're dating. No. It's like it actually is fuel for our, the rest of our life. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, and I think for 10 years we'd kind of, we'd had little moments where we go on dates, but literally it was like one a year. So to have one or two dates a week is, crazy amazing it's been really good yeah mostly he's been planning them i planned this one <laughs> i have three of my fermenting projects right here well three projects i have some kombucha and this will be my first batch of kombucha that i started on the ninth this is purple sauerkraut that i started just the other day on the 17th and then over here last night i have two bottles of fermenting beets one is at two percent and one is that 4% salinity for the brine. You know, we never really published a goals for 2018 video. And we've really been kind of mulling over what our channel goals are. One thing I want to do is really engage with you in a way that's more than entertainment. And I don't entirely know how to do that. But one idea I have is to actually invite you to do projects with us. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to make a batch of sauerkraut later this week and I'm going to publish a really, really easy how to make sauerkraut video on Saturday. This video is not going to be breaking any new ground or really showing anything new about making sauerkraut, but I want to inspire people who've never made fermented foods to try it for the first time. So I'd like to invite you, if that's you, or maybe you have done this before, but you just want to come along with us to buy a head of cabbage sometime between now and Saturday and the only other thing or things you're going to need on hand is a quart sized mason jar small mouth wide mouth doesn't matter and you'll need just a couple maybe tablespoons of salt so have those things on hand on Saturday I really want to get a lot of people to engage with this you're going to be surprised at how easy it is to make sauerkraut you don't need any other tools 
It can be red cabbage, green cabbage, Napa cabbage. Ideally, you would have non-iodized salt, but honestly, if that's all you have, don't let that stand in the way of making sauerkraut. Come along with us. Buy that head of cabbage before Saturday, and please do this project with us. All right, this has been another great day on the homestead. Thank you for joining us. Please, please try dating. If you're having any marriage trouble and you've not been regularly dating, you can make time for it. It actually will be fuel to help you accomplish anything else in life, having that close connection and a better relationship with your spouse. We'll see you in our next video.